Hi, I'm Christian. Follow me into Portable Winch World. In this video we want to talk about the different models of pulleys that we offer at Portable Winch. So as you can see there are many different models. We have actually six models but with two different types. So the type of pulleys that we offer are the regular pulleys and the self-blocking pulleys. For each type you have the choice between a single pulley or a double pulley. But you have to remember that if you're using a double pulley You'll, hit, you'll, need, uh, sorry, you'll need to have at least one single pulley first. Each of our pulleys have a great advantage. As you may know, the regular pulleys on the market are often closed like this, so you have to fit the rope through the pulley all the way in order to use it. But with our pulleys, they have swing sides, so they can be opened really quickly. So all you need to do is open the pulley and then insert your rope and you're all set. One thing we need to mention is that all our pulleys can only be used with rope, no steel cable. They will accept rope ranging from 6 to 13 millimeter diameter and their capacity will range between 16 to 50 kilonewtons. We invite you to go on our website to see all the specs to better choose the pulleys that will suit your needs. Also, if we talk about the, some of the advantages of using a pulley, one of the first advantage is that you can change the line pull direction of uh, something that you're going to pull. So if there's an obstacle, you can easily change the direction with the pulley. Also, for instance, if you're pulling a log on the ground, if you're using a, a pulley that is high enough in a tree, you can lift the, the front of the log a bit so you will reduce the friction. And of course, with a pulley, you can increase the pulling power. And that is why we always say at Portable Winch that whether you're a forester, you're a hunter, you're riding an ATV, a snowmobile, a side-by-side, -side, a 4x4, four -four, you should always carry at least a rope and a few pulleys. With that equipment, you'll always be able to get out of trouble a lot easier. Now I want to take a few seconds to talk about the self-blocking pulleys. One important thing is that when you're using that kind of pulley to lift, it's really important to follow the rules and regulations that apply in your area. Okay, so here I have the pulley installed. My rope is already in there. The great thing about this pulley is that it has a locking mechanism or a cam here. So when I lift the load like this, the pulley locks the load in position. So it, it's suspended and it's uh, held. When I'm ready to lower my load, all I need to do is to pull on this little string here on which if I use that pulley very high, I can attach another rope so I'll be able to pull from the ground. So to release the tension, I just pull a bit on the main rope and then on the cam and it's opening. So now I just release my load down. Also, this pulley can be used as a regular pulley. All I need to do is open this locking here, then release the cam and lock it in position. So like this, it's a regular pulley. Goes up and down. So really nice and easy to use. So in conclusion, it's going to be really important when you're going to do a setup with pulleys to think about all the accessories used in your setup. They all need to be strong enough to support the load that you're going to move. And finally, don't forget to watch our video on how to increase the pulling power. See ya! Don't forget, there's more videos to see.